What's going on guys? Welcome back to another My Faction video. And today is the day, man. Hey, man, drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to Jax Kicks. Let's just get right into it, man. We got it, man. I already told you guys this yesterday, man. I had a speculations, man, that with how everything was working, it would have made the most sense for My Faction Faction Wars to finally be updated with its bosses. And yes, that indeed happened today, man. Now we now know. We now know exactly how Faction Wars is going to work out. So, in diamond tier, I I expect us to get diamond cards probably at the end of diamond tier, if not the beginning of pink diamond tier. So that's how the faction wars bosses are gonna start rolling out in my opinion. I don't think that next month we're gonna see new diamond cards or maybe new cards at all. I think it's gonna be you know set cards at the end of like tiers life cycle. So we might get some more amethyst cards at you know next month, but don't expect diamond cards next month. So. You know, unless Diamond Tier comes out and then, you know, a whole bunch of stuff happens, then we'll see. But we'll go from there. Right now, let's just enjoy the fact that we got new cards, man, in Faction Wars. Smash that like button just because of the fact that we got Faction Wars bosses now. Finally, man. Thank you, 2K, man. This is great, man. And obviously, we have new rotating cards as well. Let's go ahead and check them out here. These are actually some pretty cool cards, too. These are actually really nice cards with great movesets. Each, every one of these cards have great movesets by the way if you guys were wondering so if you guys were like hey i might want to pick up one of these cards definitely go ahead and do it these cards are definitely it i highly suggest you guys get it even otis otis has a great moveset the only thing is, is that his movement speed is like you know slower but other than that you know it's still a really good cards out here man look at this wow really nice stuff all right and we also got our faction wars bosses here oh actually here's the permanent cards as well just so you guys can see them, by the way, just wanted to let you guys know that's obviously it's the cards that were from the rotating cards list now into the permanent cards list as well. So you guys can still claim those if you guys want. And here we are with the new Faction Wars bosses, which is really cool. Hopefully a lot of you guys still aren't getting that NWO glitch. I'll find out later on today as I will now start the grind for Faction Wars and these cards, we got we got to talk about them for a sec before we get into, you know, the Asuka event. So we got, not only did we get more Amethyst cards, but we also got some more Ruby cards as well. This Asuka card was not here before. We also got, I think this Rey Mysterio card was here. I'm honestly not too sure. I can't remember if this card was always there. Were these two cards here? I can't remember. I, I, I can't even remember if we got some of these cards, man. Rey Mysterio Jr. I, I don't think we have this card either. And then we have Cora Jade as well. So... Yeah, we definitely got some new Ruby cards as well. I don't think we got any new Sapphires or stuff. I don't think so either. And Bobby Lashley. I don't remember. Did we have Bobby Lashley too? I can't remember. I honestly can't. But you guys can see the badges and stuff here. Just so you guys can see. Really nice stuff. Look at that. Pretty cool. I mean, I don't think people... I mean, unless you guys are like, you know, want to collect all as many cards as possible. You know, I can definitely see you guys going for these cards. But... Me, I'm pretty much cool on them. I'm going to just keep saving up for, you know, obviously the Ruby cards that we got and everything going on. But, uh, you know, these cards still are, you know, not too bad. They're not too bad at all. I'll definitely say that. And I'm very happy. I'm, and I'm happy that we didn't just get Ruby card, uh, Amethyst cards. I'm glad that they also give us new Ruby cards as well, just so we can have some more variety as well, which is really nice for sure. Really nice stuff by 2K. I think this card been here, but we'll just go ahead and just uh, showcase the stats and badges just for you guys can see. All right, now, oh, let's do, let's do Ruby Oscar, which is so weird. But like, I gotta say this, you know what I'm saying? We we got Oscar in the Demastered packs. We have an Oscar live event, and then we have an Oscar Ruby card for Faction Wars bosses, and then we have another Oscar Ruby card. Like, do you see what I'm saying? Like. Why do we need four different Oscar cards in the span of a week? <laughs> I'm not going to complain. I will never complain about free cards. But I do feel like out of all the superstars that are in 2K24 currently right now, there's so many superstars that are in the base game that aren't even in, <laughs> you know, my faction right now. So hopefully, you know, with the higher tiers, we start getting those cards with the new superstars that we don't have currently right now. So... Hopefully that can happen, but here's Asuka, as you guys can see here, man. Obviously, Asuka is going to be a beast of a card. Badges aren't the best, but obviously, you know, her moveset's obviously amazing, man. So here we go. Okay, so here are all the Amethyst cards, man, and it's crazy. This is the live event. 
Rey Mysterio. So if you guys missed out on that live event, you guys got it for free right here. So yes, so it looks like each of these cards are 6,000 Faction Wars credits, which is awesome. Like, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and buy one now. We'll see what happens, but that's really cool. Pricing is surprisingly really good, and it gives me hope that the Diamond card is going to be a, a decent price as well. So I'm definitely looking forward to this, man. So here is Rey Mysterio. Out of all the cards here so far, I can definitely say he'll probably be my like last pick, specifically since I already have his live event card, and I'm not, you know, I'm not the type of player to use high flyers. So um, it's still a good card if you guys need a male superstar, especially if you guys don't have that many Amethyst cards. I highly suggest this card for sure, though, for sure. If you guys don't have any Amethyst cards, definitely get this card, especially if you guys need to go for that Dusty Rhodes event, man. Definitely go ahead and pick up this Rey Mysterio card. Now, we have, oh my gosh, man, Carmella. Oh my gosh. Carmella has such a great moveset. She has such a great moveset, man. Let's go ahead. 86, 87 overall. We'll go ahead and we'll check her out in a sec. Let's check out Bailey. Bailey has another great moveset as well, man. Really nice stuff. So, stats-wise, they seem decent. Body durability, which is good, which is the 80. Pen escape 81. Okay, pretty cool stuff. Finisher 81. Decent. Badges, like I said, badges, I, I, I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked that badges aren't too crazy, specifically since, you know, we already got so many live event cards, packs, and stuff like that. They want us to keep participating in these live events and, and opening up packs. So, Faction Wars bosses, don't expect the badges to be out of this world because they still want us to play live events and stuff. So, I'm not too shocked by the badges and stuff. And Iron Jaw as her ability. Let's check her out. 86 overall. 78 body durability. Okay, strike reversal 68. Okay, these stats seem decent. I think her live event card is better. 88 finisher. Okay, 83 special. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Sting like a bee and space. Okay, yeah. She has decent badges as well, but like I said, it's not going to be anything too crazy. Poison Mist has her ability as well. So, yeah, really cool stuff, man. Now, Carmella. Now, you guys know, I love her moveset a lot. I love her moveset so much, and let's hope, like, this might be the card that I get, and she's a striker, 87 overall, this might be the card that I pick up, depending on the badges, man, let's check her out, man, let's see, striker reversal on 90, oh my gosh, she looks, like her stats already look the best out of everybody else, 80 body durability, arm power at 78, 72 leg power, arm durability, 84, so she's great at, at, on defense. Her defense is insane. This is a defensive card right here. Oh my gosh. 72 pin escape is, you know, a bit low. 96 movement speed. Agility 84. 90 finisher. Oh my gosh. I might need to pick this one up, guys. Pain train, space invade. Uh, okay. Oh, she doesn't have sting like a B. No. Ah. Uh, okay, okay. Still a decent card, though. And comeback as her ability. She does have comeback, though. That is good. Once I, you know, play some more Faction Wars... I will definitely try to go for her if I can find her. So that's going to be fun. That's definitely going to be fun. This is a card you want to look out for. I highly suggest Carmella. She's definitely the best card out of this whole set so far. So really nice stuff, man. Now for this event, I'm going to be using Xia Li for this Asuka event. Now I want to make this clear. You guys can use whatever card you guys want. I mean, if you guys want to follow step by step with this tutorial, yes, you can use her, but... Use whatever card you're most comfortable with. I always want to make that clear because I know some people think that once they see me play as, as a certain superstar that they need to do that as well. Definitely use the card that you're always familiar with that you, are, you play the best with. That's what I always recommend with these live events to let you use any superstar you want. Definitely use the superstar that you're the most comfortable with, that you know the moveset, the moveset that you like. Because I might love her moveset and you might hate her moveset. So use the card that you love the most. That way you can ha have the most knowledge coming into this match, especially when they're difficult like this. So I just want to make that clear. Use whatever card you want. But if you guys want to follow this tutorial step by step, definitely use the same card that I'm using. I recommend Strikers. I always recommend Strikers because their challenges, their objectives are definitely the easiest, the quickest to go through. And I just love most, star uh, you know, most Strikers movesets as well. So just want to make that clear for you guys. Oh, so it's a pink diamond. Okay. Well, I, I love all these creative live events that we've been getting from 2K lately, man. So let's get let's just get right into business right here, man. Let's just go, man. Let's just get right into things. Uh-oh. Ooh, nice reversal. 
There we go. Let's keep doing our thing. There we go. All right, let's get her stunned. Uh oh. There we go. Nice. Let's do some light attacks. Some light attacks, and then we're gonna throw her out the ring. Yep, yep. Throw out the ring. Oh, is that a reversal? Oh, it wasn't. Oh, nice. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's do our taunts real quick. Just get that out the way. We have to do them. You know what I'm saying? We're not done. Oh, let me see if I can do... All right, yeah, you want to be careful with that move because if you got a weird angle, you get this strange standing animation that is terrible. <laughs> so you definitely want to watch out with her moveset at times. And you don't want to spam it either because then it will get reversed. Okay, so let's see. I just want to check my objectives. I think we still need to do some more light attacks for sure. And then we need to do our finisher and signature. This is a false count anywhere match too, so we definitely have to be careful with that. Oh no. What? It what Yo! It was not letting me do anything right there. What in the world? Nice. Here we go. Almost stunned. Yes. Signature. Lead that into a finisher. Hold on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Yes. Yes. Sh should I do it? Let's do it. Let's just pin. She might use her resiliency. Oh, no resiliency. Yeah, I know we are gold, so we're definitely going to have to, like, really just be smart about everything we do. Should I get a chair? Let's get a chair. Yeah. You want to run at me? Come on. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Come on, man. Come on. So this is a false count anywhere match. So we definitely got to be careful with that. Let me see. Yeah. You stay right there. Let me get this chair. Just so I can. Oh. There you go. Let's keep reversing. Like, I do not. We do not want the CPU to do their finisher at all. There you go. Keep doing heavy attacks like that. All right, should I do my, let's, let's let's do some more attacks, man. Let's do some more damage, man. Let's do a little, yeah, there you go. Let's see, will she use her resiliency? I doubt it. Yeah, okay, that's not going to do nothing. All right, you know, you just got to keep checking. You got to keep pin checking. Okay, oh, there you go. Okay, okay, hold on. Just definitely want, don't want to spam anything because it will get reversed. Oh, there you go. There's the animation. Oh my gosh, I just missed a huge attack right there. That would have been bad. Okay, we need to take a break. Can I throw the chair at her? Oh, well. Oh, perfect. That's cheesy. Oh, perfect. Signature time. Signature. Lead that into my... F oh, actually, we didn't need to lead it in my finisher. Let's just do a quick pin. Maybe we can get that resiliency to go off. Dang it. Dang it. All right, well, that's fine. We got a chair. And I can use it. I'm gonna keep throwing it. That throwing man is very cheesy. There we go. There we go. Hold on. Uh oh. Wow, I could not reverse that move at all. You guys saw that. It did not let me reverse the move one bit. Let's reverse this. There we go. Oh, perfect. It's not what I wanted to do, but I'll take it. Uh-oh. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. I just did my finisher like that. And again. And again. Oh, my gosh. Let's go. And we just won like that. She didn't even use her... Her resiliency. What? Yo, that was so easy. Guys, you guys saw what I did. Just, like, literally, like, I don't know how else to explain it. Like, just do exactly what I just did. Just stay outside the ring. You know, use use your advantages. You got the chairs. Throw the chairs. That does some heavy damage, man. Throw chairs and just <laughs> make sure you do your signature and finisher once you get her stunned. You're good to go, man. All right. So, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, it was just one match we had to do, right? Please tell me it was just one match. Please tell me. And we got Asuka like that. Asuka is now a finally ours. 
Let's go, man. Drop a like on this video, man. We are good to go. Asuka is finally here on the squad, man. You guys know what we're about to do, man. Let's go ahead and jump right into this card review. Yo, I totally forgot that today was Monday. Oh my gosh, that's how busy I've been, guys. So, <laughs> we got a new Weekly Towers as well. And I guess we'll go ahead and showcase Asuka with this Weekly Tower uh, match right here. But it's featuring 3,500 MFP, which is awesome. So, yes, you guys can go ahead and do that. Here are all the matches as well. So, really nice stuff. And here we are with the main event part. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. This Is this the My Career version of, of Asuka? I did not play through My Career this year, guys. Like I said, I've been busy with... I've been busy with, you know, the Call of Duty content and everything else and my faction and stuff. Maybe I'll get through, you know, the My Career mode at a later date. But look at Asuka, man. I definitely like her quick moveset. It's definitely a really nice moveset, man. Are you going to pin me right now? No. That's not going to work. Man, 2K has been giving us some really good cards. Look at that. Already stunned. And she is a striker, too, which is awesome. That sting like a B on gold. What? Oh, yeah. Look at her corner move. Now, for these card reviews, I like to just do, like, random moves just to just showcase her moveset, like... At its finest. You know, no strategy coming into the video. Just showcasing everything. Her signature. And you can possibly leave that into a finisher. You could. I guess depending on the damage you can take on the on your opponent. But here's her grounded attack. Oh, she has that move. Yeah, I was never a fan of that move. I'm never a fan of that move. But here we go. Obviously, this is weekly towers. So it's going to be a bit easier. But look at that. Finishing move. Leave that into her, sign her uh, submission. I could easily just end the match here, but we're not. Not just yet. Let's check out her. Oh, okay. I like that. I like that. Now, what move was this? Let me see. Okay, is this one? Okay. Oh. Oh, I like that. Wait, wait. Do it. Let's do it one more time. That nice little stomp. Lead it into that. Okay, I definitely like that one for sure. There we go. Stunner one more time. Let's do our signature. And then, you guys already see the, the, the card, man. This card can do it all, man. I doubt my finisher is going to get reversed, let alone twice. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's see if we can make Eve tap. Yep. Easy. Just like that. Very good. This card is awesome, man. I highly suggest you guys get it. Hopefully, the tutorial helped you guys out a lot. Well, that's everything for today, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this new Asuka card. This card is sh shockingly just incredible, man. I mean, I already knew she was going to be incredible with all her... Oh, my gosh. I completely forgot how her badges looked. Wow, this card is incredible. Yeah, just from me using her in-game. Even, even just... Not even just that. Forget, forget her moveset, forget everything. The way she looks in game is insane. I love the attire, really nice stuff, man. Like that right there is really cool. I love what, you know, 2K did with this live event. They've been dropping some fire live events this year, man. Shout out to 2K, man. The events this year have been absolutely incredible. This Dusty Rhodes card yesterday. Make sure you guys check out that video if you guys want to see how I got it. Got this Dusty Rhodes card. We got Asuka. We have Shay. Like we got this, like, man, this is amazing. And guess what? This was all for free. All for free, man. Let's go, man. Let me know what you guys think about everything in the comment section down below, man. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel, man. This week, hopefully, when things clear up, I should have a new series for Call of Duty dropping very, very soon. So for all my COD players out there, make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for that, man. This is also another crazy week because I believe we're going to get Money in the Bank packs. We might get a Money in the Bank locker code because yearly we've been getting a money in the bank locker code so hopefully we can get one this week as well and hopefully can give us some free cards as well so definitely stay tuned to the channel for that follow me on twitter for more info and stuff as well but thank you guys so much for watching hit that like button subscribe to the channel let me know what you guys think about the faction wars bosses and i'll see you guys on next one i'm signing out peace